So, so um, um, we have a question here from uh, Bronson Vaughn, what, which says, um, what is the criteria Dr. Walton uses to determine if language is meant to be hyperbole or literally universal? Um, is it a case by cases thing? So Dr. Walton, um, how do you kind of like try to figure out like when is the text speaking hyperbolically versus literally or, you know, all the different um, questions here? You know, we just have to use every, we have to use every tool at our disposal to try to do that. But it's not a sure thing. Um, mm. The, you notice that when I identified the rhetorical nature of universalistic language, I tied that to a certain kind of context, right? Universal cataclysm or that kind of idea. I tied it to that kind of context. That gave me the basis for understanding that as sort of a genre convention. Okay, so I used that as the criteria that was somewhat objective uh, to determine that. When we do parables, you know, we understand the rhetorical use of parables because we see them. Right? You know, some people could have perhaps thought that these are real stories with real people. Uh, go find the prodigal son. But we we recognize a genre, and then we identify the conventions of that genre as best as we are able. Mm. In in numerous cases, people could come to different conclusions. So it is very difficult to, to make that decision. But again, mm -hmm. remember with the flood, it wasn't that I was proving that the flood was not global. Rather, I was suggesting that because of the possibilities of rhetoric, the Bible does not necessarily demand that it was. And that changes the, the picture. Mm -hmm.